All right. There we go. Welcome, everyone. My name is uh, Snivix. Today we're playing Distant Worlds Universe. Uh, this game is actually like eight years old or something like that. And uh, they recently announced, actually last week they announced their second version of this game is coming out, which is fantastic. Uh, I remember putting in many, many hours of this game way back when so i'm pretty excited to uh see it come back and uh what's uh let me see if i can just turn up my microphone hopefully that is uh not too loud or not too quiet and it's just right uh right now i'm using the twitch studio beta because uh osb did not want to work for this so uh it just went load I spent 15 minutes trying to get it to work has not worked at all. Now, uh, right from the get-go, there's a because this is the universe. They have come out with a few expansions over the years, and eventually they threw it all together into one big giant game called Universe. Uh, so there's a bunch of different options. You can start out as a pirate faction, which I'm never a fan of. They're kind of lame. Uh, they're pretty cool at the beginning, actually, but later on in the game, they're kind of useless. Um, Standard Empires, uh, which is typically what I go with. And then you have all these different starting eras that you could select. Um, if you want to be the Ancient Galaxy or, you know, Pirate Faction in the Age of Shadows, where the pirates are basically stronger and everyone else is not. Uh, Standard Empire in the Age of Shadows as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Classical Era is basically what it was when it first came out. Return of the Shakloon, I want to say is how you pronounce that. Uh, that was their first expansion, and then Legends was their second expansion. Uh, we're going to start off just uh, Custom Empire, and that is pretty much in this era right here, which are in the same era, the Age of Pirates. It's the Age of Shadows. Uh, and I've already kind of set this up a little bit earlier. Uh, we're not going with a massive area, we're just doing a standard star size. Apparently there are, uh, oh, I forgot it's 26, oh yeah. Uh, there are limits, kind of like galactic civilization, to how many stars you really want to have in your galaxy based on how much memory you have. Uh, so we're gonna, just going to stick with standard, because I found out recently I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, which I am ordering new more RAM, you know, to fill up those other two empty spots that I have sitting in my computer. Uh, so one day we will have 36, sorry, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> uh, and then you can select how big your galaxy is. A sector isn't, uh, oh, that changes. Please hold me, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, Mr. Blind Blitz, how's it going? The Antigons in your game formed Macedon. Oh, and then formed the League. Hmm. Yeah, you have made a tragic error of letting those guys survive. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, this. Uh, there are some maps that you can create, which I have not done, obviously. Um, but if you ever did, you can hit the regenerate for all these different things and just re-randomize the map in some way. Uh, expansion, how old or how young your civilization, civilization is when you start. I like to do the pre-warp. It's a little bit slower to start, but uh, it's nice. Blind Blitz, yeah, doing your own business in Iberia. Okay, well, eventually you're going to get killed <laughs> by, those, by that massive empire. Uh, aggression. Peaceful, normal, all that fun stuff. I'm just going to play normal. Normal difficulty. Uh, pirates strength, normal. Pirates, normal. Space creatures, normal. Research cost, I like to do very expensive. Let's make research take a long time. Make you have to work for it. And uh, this number here is actually how much research points you need. Uh, so even though I set it to very expensive, it sets it to 480. Uh, expensive is just 240. You could actually change that manually, and you can just make it really expensive, um, however expensive you want. 
Uh, pirate distance. Uh, you know what? Let's leave it distant. I, I don't want pirates spawning on top of me. Uh, destroy pirates. Do not respawn. If we destroy somebody, they should be destroyed and dead and never return. That's how I feel about that. Uh, next up, uh, colonization territory. What kind of stuff is going to be in the galaxy? We want lots of colonies. Uh, it's going to be teeming with random life. Uh, random little civilizations that have not really formed into civilizations. Uh, colonial influence. Uh, suggested rate depending on the size of the galaxy. Um, and they'll give you a percentage. Uh, in this case, we want our colonial influence range to be 150, which is what the recommended is. Uh, and then colonization range itself is... Oh, so colony influence range is kind of like your border. Uh, and the range is how many sectors your ships can go and colonize stuff. And we're going to leave it at 2. That's the default. Oh, and then you get into the meat and potatoes. All the different races that you can be. You can be uh, these crazy looking dudes. You can be uh, the Orions, essentially. <laughs> the Star Trek equivalent of the Orions. Uh, the Some lizard people. Some rat people. Some more rat people. Oh, those are more like Ewok rat people. And uh, these ones are just like rat rat people. Uh, octopus looking thing. Another rat person. And what else is there? Bug person. Saw a lizard. Saw the Orion. Uh, frog person. T Rex person. <laughs> uh, another lizard person. Giant brained person. Uh, dog person. Dog rat person. Rat dog person. Uh, monkey. Human. Um, I don't know what that is. Another bug person. Another bug person. Oh, I skipped a few. Another bug person. Yeah, bug, bug. Uh, rodent person. He even says he's a rodent person. And uh, some sort of dolphin looking person. We're just going to go humans. You know, it's just human domination. And of course, they all have different specialties. Oh, we get an extra intelligent agent. It's, it's nice. Uh, oh, special government, corporate nationalism. I never saw that. Interesting. And uh, even uh, the special resources in the game, you get special bonuses for certain ones that nobody else gets. They get their own special bonuses. Lots, lots of little customization things here. Although, you can't actually customize your race. Just find sad. I hope they change that in the second game. Uh, and we are going to go with the uh, Terran Confederation. I'm not thrilled with this color though. Let's go with red and uh, I don't know. Tealish. No, that looks weird. Blue. Purple. No. Orange. No. Yeah, let's just go with red and green. Uh, and starting location, you can be random center, which is, you know, center, random, anywhere in the galaxy. I like to start on the edges. Work my way in. Uh, home system, uh, we want an excellent home system. I like to be in an excellent home system, especially when you're starting pre-warp. Uh, you can't really go anywhere outside of your system for a little while. So it's good to have something there. What is our audio doing, actually? Hopefully the audio is coming in perfectly fine. I don't know for sure. I haven't used uh, the Twitch studio for a very long time. And oh, there's the corporate nationalism. What's this do? Approval. Uh, corruption plus 15%. Growth rate minus 5%. Research speed minus 10%. Colony income minus 10%. Maintenance cost plus 10%. This is not a very good thing. Uh, troop recruitment plus 25 and war weariness minus 25. Yeah, this is like, uh, there's no real bonus to this. 
it's just a bunch of negatives, really. Yeah, it's a, a lot of negatives. Uh, we're gonna go with the Marnie Key, which is a bunch of normal stuff. Uh, recruitment plus 25, war weariness minus 30, uh, which is what you want. You want your people to be less war worried, I think. Uh, empires, oh, let's not start with that many. How many ways? Uh, no, let's just start with 12. Uh, and we're gonna allow independent alien colonies to grow into new empires throughout the game, assuming we haven't conquered them. They might become a new empire. And victory conditions. We want nothing. We want total domination. Basically, if you turn off all the uh, all the uh, victory conditions, that means only by destroying everything can you win, which I approve of. Uh, we're not going to allow tech trading either. There'll be no trading of technology. Everyone must research their own stuff. And uh, we're going to enable all the story stuff, all the event specific, all the uh, disasters and whatnot that could come. Actually, I'm not a fan of the disasters. Eh, anyway, I will turn it off. Uh, victory conditions, yep, yeah. nope, done. Let's get this show on the road. Ooh, that was a little bit, uh, a little bit glitchy there. <laughs> right off the bat, a little bit of glitchiness. Terran Confederation, you're the ruler of the humans. Your style of government is monarchy. Your empire has one colony system. Wow. Uh, our victory condition targets achieve 80% of the following. Uh, no conditions apply. Okay. Basically, conquer everything. Now, right off the start, we're gonna hit my pause button. Where's my pause button? There's my pause button. And uh, oh, we actually start with a tiny little. Oh, we start with two moons. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, and we're orbiting a gas giant, which is really nice, actually. That's an interesting place for us to be. Our size quality is 32.7, which is actually pretty good. Uh, anything around 32 is a pretty big planet. Uh, I don't think there's anything past 35, so that's that's good. One second. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, we were having those nice moons close by. We don't know what resources they have yet. Uh, typically, gas giants are going to have something for your ships and moons. Well, they have a little bit of everything. So it's good that we're starting close by one. Uh, there's also another gas giant over here, which has a little abandoned ship near it. A couple more moons. And that's not far from us. This is a this system has a lot of moons in it. Uh, I got a oh sorry a lot of gas giants uh, with a lot of barren moons which we can't colonize or anything like that. It's, they're just kind of there. Uh, over here another gas giant with another moon. Uh, what's this? Another gas giant with no moons. Wow. Uh, if we build a research station here though, we get a twenty four percent bonus to high tech research. Uh, and what is this? Oh, this is a tiny little barren planet. It's kind of on its own. Uh, another little moon orbiting a volcanic planet. And a desert planet, a fair size. Oh, and another, another planet, ocean world, that we can go colonize at some point. Desert worlds we can also colonize. Uh, same with volcanic, actually. Although our race would not do too well. On volcanic planets but the desert should be okay and the ocean will be okay as well uh, let's see another gas giant another gas giant with a volcanic planet opening it for some reason 
you know, sometimes the the space physics does not match. <laughs> does not work. And uh, over here we have some asteroids with some space slugs that were trying to attack us, um, but are easily destroyed. I would say. Oh, and we're starting in some sort of nebula area, maybe. Yeah, corner of the galaxy. Uh, that's a lot of stars over there. We start with very little stars. Uh, so hopefully there's no enemies. We just claim that whole thing to ourselves. And uh, yeah, some of these clusters are huge and others are not. Not very many space clusters. And we're kind of starting in the smallest one, which is awful. Just awful. But we'll make it work. We'll make it our own little pocket of the galaxy. And it'll be good, I think, maybe, possibly, probably not. But seriously, ton of moons here and gas giants, so hopefully that makes up for it. Right off the bat, let's build ourselves. Uh, we're just going to build a... Yeah, let's go for a medium spaceport for now. And we'll expand to a large one a little bit later on. We don't need a big giant spaceport to start with. It's still early. And uh, we will get a construction ship. We'll get a couple of those going right after our spaceport is down. Can't build anything on the planet yet. Although even, uh, even when you can build stuff, that was one thing that was kind of lacking with this game. There's not a lot of building of stuff. Uh, one thing I should also mention in this game, there is a ton of automation stuff uh, that you can kind of turn on and on, on and off whenever you feel like it. Uh, we're going to leave the weapons on, shields, sure, uh, and this we're going to change to colonization. We want to be able to start colonizing things right away. And unfortunately, desert and oceans come quite a bit later when it comes to colonization. And we need quite a bit of stuff for it too. Hmm. Wow. I don't like uh, how much stuff we need. Okay. Gotta get a lot of stuff just to get to that, you know, desert and ocean colonization. All right, let's unpause. Let's get this thing, uh, get the show on the road. Again, physics, uh, not always a good thing in this game. Space physics, you know, it's a 2D model. You gotta go with it. Just kind of assume that, yeah, there's, there's four moons crossing paths. Not really crossing paths? I don't know. I don't know how this works. One is going above, one is there. They all look like they're going sideways, they're not. That's the secret. Uh, research, Empire, Summary. I do believe this is all set up according to my last playthrough. Maybe not. No, it's not. This thing's always a little bit buggy. Alright, do it the hard way. 10, and we want uh, 25 ships in a fleet. Oops. This civilian captured ships. attacking I want to be in charge of that a little bit better well you know what we're not too worried about it right now troop recruitment can be standard all right now these percentages need to equal 100 so you have to bear with me here to make sure that we're Doing a good numbers. I don't need too many transports for troops. We want lots of capital ships, lots of carriers. 
Uh, cruisers can stay 15. Destroyers, destroyers, I should say, can go down a little bit. Frigates can really go down. Uh, escorts can go down. What do we got? 15, 30, 40, 55. Okay, we're really low. Are we low? 30, 60, 70, 85, 90. We're at 90. Now we're at 95. And I don't know, it's looking pretty even. I guess we just go for a couple more escorts. One of these, one more there, one more there. Oh, yeah, I'll leave it at normal. There's research settings. Um, and design settings. Colony settings, we're gonna leave normal. Facility, we'll leave normal. Colonization. We want to make sure that we are colonizing a lot. Some colony immediate new bases. Uh, so, our race family, there's only a few races in our race family. Um, and we want to simulate them. Everyone else. Uh, ooh. Let's leave it for simulate for now. We can be welcoming of everyone, I suppose. For the time being. Until we need to destroy them. Uh, intelligence missions. We need to make sure we're not doing anything too, too bad. Yeah, that works. And I, I want at least 50% counterintelligence. Once again, all these automation stuff, it's all to kind of help you make your life a little bit easier so you're not managing 500 things at the same time. Or you can focus on whatever part of the game that you want to focus on. And that is pretty much it. And uh, it is going to start a little bit slow just because of how we went with it. Uh, I started us off kind of in a slow position. And of course, if you really want to, you can zoom in all the way in and listen to that construction. Though I'm not actually hearing the construction. Could just be my speakers though. I'm not going to mess around with the volume right now. I'll just kind of leave it and hope that you can hear it. I can hear the music, so I should be able to hear that actually. I don't know, I'm going to assume it's playing. Uh, and then you have resources. Oh, and this planet that we're starting on is actually pretty good. So you got some crystals, uh, which are common, so that's whatever. We got some marble, which is a very rare luxury resource. Uh, usually found on continental worlds, which is what we're on. Perfect. Uh, chromium, which is common. Polymers, which are common. Carbon fiber, which is common. And uh, the necro stone, I believe, is common as well. Yeah, common. Usually found on volcanic worlds. Apparently, it's on our continental world. That's all the way at the edge of our system. And is a moon of a uh, <laughs> of a gas giant, of course. You see, the AI is just kind of popping down some random stuff for future reference. And I can actually speed it up 
while we're waiting for this thing. We don't have to sit through the mooring stuff. This is in our star system. Ah, the space stuff and copious amounts of ship design. Hey, you can automate ship design. Uh, oh, there's a destroyer over here. Nice. You can always automate the ship design. All right, and our spaceport is now built. Finally, a million years. Uh, we're also going to start upgrading it immediately to the large. But in the meantime, we can actually start building stuff. Why would you bother some of the best designs of players' fever dreams? <laughs> uh, oh, small frigate, independent. Well, we must be close to some independent planet. If uh, they're showing up here... Is there another one over there? No. Uh, let's see, what are we getting? Some exploration ships? Let's probably have a research short. Uh, shouldn't have too much of a shortage at the beginning because it's all basic stuff. We're literally just starting. Oh, independent traders. Yeah, who knows. So we get a couple of luxury ships and uh, start building up our military a little bit. Oops. Uh, my thing changed. Small forget to uh, transport polymer. Uh, Old Hand, I actually played this many, many years ago when it first came out. Uh, uh, even after, once the um, Unlimited Edition came out, I played it as well. But I haven't played it in a few years. And uh, they just announced uh, before we turn and also after. They just announced the uh, second edition of this game. So I was kind of like, you know what, let's, let's go back and try to play it for a little bit. See how it's going. Okay, there's a lot of independence near me. Uh, transport steel, lead, polymer, steel, lead, polymer, silicone. Yeah, these are all just like basic resources. Starship constructed, yay. Our uh, construction ship, or one of them, is built. Uh, we're playing uh, just the general. Uh, this is actually pre-warp right now. Uh, just pre-warp custom civilization. And uh, just a massive map, of course. And uh, we got stuck in like the tiniest cluster. Except for that one. That's a little bit smaller than us. Got gold, steel, iridium, lead, nothing special there. I have any deal with pirates? Yeah, I, I'm hitting Mr. Pirates. But this is kind of what it is. We're starting, everything's pre warp, anyways, so. Uh, basically, pirates rule. <laughs> now, what are we doing for ships? Let's get a more scout. Whoa, what is happening there? Cap on resource. There's a strange cap on resource extraction. 
on mining and gas stations? I did not know that. I never really noticed. I don't um, micromanage too much. Maximum's 10. Hmm. I've never encountered that. Or at least I've never noticed. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just never really noticed. I just kind of go with the flow. Uh, research breakthrough, researching shields. Oh, research for shields. Breakthrough. It doesn't look like there's much of a breakthrough. That doesn't look like much of a... Oh, I see. Crashing it. Perfect. Gets floored down to 10. Ouch. <laughs> it's kind of a silly... It's a weird... Weird thing to do is cap it. Hmm. Yeah, no, never really noticed. Never really paid too much attention to my, my mining stuff. Ah, Bannon ship. Taking control of it. Let's go uh, retire it. Let's see if it's got any good technology on it. And, uh, oh, our starbase is doing okay. It's uh, upgraded its... Uh, no, it uh, has not upgraded itself yet. It's still building other stuff. Mining station still being built. Hmm. Station line should look like with nine out of ten. Now, well, let me see where is our mining station? Where's our right mining station? There it is, right below it. Well, we can leave on the automation, and that's great. See, I've never really spent too much time in here looking at all this stuff. Oh yeah, so he has one extractor. Hmm. Extraction three. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, oh, never bothered. I've never been one to uh, min max at all, and Yeah, we just build more ships. <laughs> exactly. The yeah, AI just build more ships. It's all good. <laughs> it's the worst that can happen relying on the AI to do everything for me. Well, what are we building here? I got some exploration going out. 
This sector, I'm not a fan of this whole desert ocean thing. Hmm. Transporting silicon. So do we not? I thought we produced silicon here. Maybe no, we don't. No, we don't. It does things that I'm not at odds with private economy. Yeah, that's true. You can definitely learn from the AI and make yourself a better player because of it. Find out all the little nooks and crannies, all the things they miss. Oh no, our planet's gonna crash into this moon! Ah, no, it's fine. We'll crash into this moon. This moon's fine though. Did we end up getting at these moons? Uh, steel, iridium, which we already have. Lead, iridium, more steel, gold, excellent. Iridium, steel, lead, wow. Uh, got some good gases though, that's good. Anything good here? Gold, more gold. I love the gold. Oh, and even more gold. That is fantastic. And, uh, oh, two gases that we didn't have. Make the 100% rule for mining stations except for rare resources. Why not rare resources? Wouldn't you want to have lots of rare resources? Was it like negatively impact you if you have too much or something good? Uh, what's going on with this ship? Your mission is to build a gas mining station. Oh, it's queued. You need more resources. I get it now. Silly construction ship is just very slow. Full resources are on a planet at our 20% or more. I put a mining station on it since I term it worthwhile to place an extraction. Uh, unless it's already viable for a colony. Enjoy extracts at full rate without a mining station. Okay. Oh, I, I get you what you mean now. So if all these add up to more than 100%, then you build a station on it. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, this one I think is just under 100. Too late. <laughs> We've built on it. Uh, okay, so this one's a good one. That's more like 150% there, somewhere around that. More than 150. Yeah, that's the nice thing. Even though it's a crappy resource rate, it is very close by to us. It's literally sharing an orbit. We just collapsed. We just hit it. <laughs> I do believe we just went right through this moon. Especially early on. Definitely need resources early on. I do believe these little civilian ships that are independent are actually harvesting from my moon and transporting to me, perhaps. This guy's got steel. Does this moon have steel? Lead. Oh, we met somebody. Do we want to accept their protection? Nope. Iridium steel. Yeah, this guy is actually coming to our mining station. 
Oh no, please don't attack us, Mr. Evil Bad Guy. My entire fleet is here. And we're officially at a large station. There you go. All we have to do now is get some of these scouts to find... Oh, you know what? I think the scout actually has to go here. Yeah, we need a scout to come here. That should be the priority. This is a very large system. Um, but you know what? They are doing pretty good. I mean, he's about midway through the system, and he's got plenty of fuel. I think as long as he gets here and scouts it and then starts heading back, he should be okay. He'll probably be about half when he gets here. Uh, and it helps. Are they moving away from us or closer to us? Alright, let's speed this up. It's uh, moving away from us. And we're moving towards it. But we are on an inner lane. Are both of these scouts going for the same thing? No, you're going for some asteroid. And uh, there's a little space worms. Look at them go. Aren't they cute? Uh, yeah, they do return to base midway through, but I think that's only if they're automated. I think if they're not automated, they're not going to return to base. Pirates offer location of a colony. 20,000 credits? No thanks, I'll find it later. I can't get there anyways. And I hope it's not showing me this... I'm pretty sure that this is showing me the, the thing here. So that's what I'm hoping. Uh, warp field, perfect. Let's go research our warp field, uh, which was here. Not weapons, energy. Energy, yeah. Oops. Ah, uh, okay. Warp fields. Perfect. And uh, go explore this thing while you're here. Move to hostile dragon. Hmm. I don't know why I can't get this guy. You know what? Just automate. Just automate. And there he goes to refuel. Uh, let's see. Probably. Yeah, it's got 28 damage. So that's probably exactly what it is. How much does it cost to crash warp field? Uh, I hate that it gives the original window sound. So crashing this would cost us 431,000, 36,000. Uh, and we have 31,000. Oh, we have 37,000 now. Only another, you know, 400,000 to go. I don't know if you get a research bonus for building them or for um, repairing them. I know you get, um, sometimes you get technology if you go and dismantle them afterwards. What is this guy doing? It's just like flying towards it again. 
Are you going to learn from this lesson and not fly towards the asteroids that have the giant worm on it? Nope, you're not going to learn the lesson. You're just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's just going to fly in a circle until he loses fuel. You get a passive boost for repairing advanced technologies in your research screen. Oh, I didn't know that. You, sir, are a fountain of knowledge. And I think we have pretty much every single known gas in this system. Hydrogen, argon, helium. <laughs> Get them long range survey scan. Oh. Scan at a distance. I pretty much never get those until like later in the game when it's like, yeah, we need better scanners everywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure we told this frigate to dismantle, didn't we? I'm quite positive I told this thing to dismantle. Unless I'm looking at this one and it's one of my ships. No, I'm pretty sure that's not one of my ships. I think we need to assemble a fleet. Just go kill those things at some point. Construction ship, he's gonna refuel, hopefully. Oh, we're building more stuff. Oh, we're building defensive bases. Oh, that's good. In case those pirates come back, that'll help us. Hey, my scouts are always getting munched by the giant space worms. Actually, I. I the space worms don't bother me so much. It's the um, the scorpion looking things. The kraken or whatever they would call them. Oh, did he actually get in and actually scan? No, he's still, he's still scared of them. Okay. Yes, the giant Kaltor. Those things are nasty. I've had times where you send fleets in there and just they destroy, they just tear apart a bunch of ships. You're like, oh no, how did this happen? <laughs> Space crayfish, <laughs> exactly. They are nasty beasts. Oh, we got three defenses. I, I think we have enough defenses. Although we could build a fourth. And what do we got here? Did that ship ever disassemble? I feel like that ship never disassembled. Uh, probably not very good. It's probably not doing good at all. No, it's it's really not. Uh, actual port 94, 417, 100. Yeah, potential is 490. And learn from science station, output of vampire plus 6%. You know, it's not doing horribly, but it's not doing great. Uh, thankfully, most of it is actually working towards our, um, towards our energy there, which is great, because that's what we need. Uh, only need another 200 and something. Actually, I thought uh, one of these planets, I do remember, 
Python had a bonus for research. And maybe you can find a ship that's a relic. I made a research bonus on some planet here. Oh, one of these moons, maybe. Am I losing my mind? Yeah, the hostile was something, and I tried to retire again. I no longer see it, so I think it actually did retire the second time. It must have retired, because I don't see it anymore. Uh, enhanced missiles. Well, I also didn't see a bonus from it, which is very unfortunate. Maybe it just didn't have anything. Uh, space Pirates offer discovery. I need my money, unfortunately. Oh, there you go. No, that's something different. Hmm. I don't actually see it on here. Uh, where is... Uh, no, not that, but that actually... Ah, there it is. I think that's it. It doesn't look like one of my ships, so that must be it. There's a way to just... No, I don't even know where the ship is right now. Missed from incompetence and extreme grumpiness. Awful. Uh, but seriously, where is this guy? Ah, there he is. Alright, you. I think he's getting, you know what, he's part of a fleet or something. Oh, that is very annoying. Uh, leave fleet. I think that's what it was, is he was a part of a fleet somehow. There we go.
he was just part of a fleet, so every time I gave him an order, the fleet would counter it and tell him to go someplace else. I think he's now actually being retired. Yeah, there you go. He's finally being retired. And uh, we got uh, improved defense tactics. Improved defense tactics. Oh, a little bit of it there. Yeah, nothing like getting troop technology from a space frigate that you found. Just to highlight. Exactly, exactly. Learn troop defense tactics from a spaceship. <laughs> All that advanced technology on a spaceship. And that's what we got, is advanced defense tactics for troops. That which reminds me are things at 90%. It's only going to cost us 47 to get it. Let's do it. Let's crash it. It's a little bit pricey, but it uh, gets us there a little bit faster. It probably is easier to find an espresso machine. Oh yeah, look at that grow. 98. Any second now. Alright. Warp bubble generator. Excellent. Let's... Do we have scout ships? Yeah, we do. Oh, they're already moving to... Uh, will your empire do an auto upgrade? Yes, it does. The scout ships are already auto upgrading. And uh, I think all these other guys are. I don't know about these transports, but uh, yeah, definitely is a bunch of stuff that went to auto upgrade, retrofitting. Are the frigates, uh, yeah, they're not actually auto upgrading, or well, the civilian stuff is not auto upgrading. Start ship, uh, yeah, it's got hyper jump. First hyper jump, there we go. Next up, the stars. Oh, Kraken. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna go kill these giant crackers. Oh, calcors. <laughs> Alright, what's our. What are you guys doing? Escorting some civilian ship. Okay, well, that's great. And you also. Okay, well. The United Cities warships would uh, upgrade themselves. Alright, all of you. Only though, okay. We stacked a couple of them. It's the same type of ship.
You would think they would just do it. Uh, coup d'etat. Oh, this is something that's never happened to me. <laughs> Never seen that happen before. I wonder what it does for our government. We're still monarchy. So that hasn't changed. Hmm. Oh, are they not going? Oh, some of them are not going to upgrade. Oh, second fleet is. And uh, yeah, of course you're going to attack by them. Why don't you just go back to... Yeah, you're dead. Oh, that guy's definitely dead. It's gonna catch him. Oh, what a tragedy. Oh, we found an independent race. That's nice. What a tragedy. Our tiny construction ship, our poor, innocent, defenseless construction ship uh, is about to be destroyed. Well, that happened. guys are gonna get retrofit. What are you guys doing down here? Oh, whoops. He has an engine drive. That's my bad. Are you gonna go one-on-one -on -one that space slug? Okay, good luck. He's dead. <laughs> that guy's definitely dead. One-on-one -on -one a space slug. That's not good. You retrofit. Uh, you go back and retrofit. Alright, who's left? I don't know why these guys aren't exploring. They have the uh, engines for it. guy. Oh, he is upgraded. Hi. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> Got a new generation of civilian ships just going out. Did we find anything good over here? Uh, 
Looks like just a bunch of junk over here. More space junk. Desert planet, not bad. And uh, these guys. I, uh... Oh, what's this? Fair knock. I don't remember if you can diplomatically annex these guys or if you just have to go and conquer them with troop transports. Oh, you can colonize. That's what it was. If they're friendly, you can colonize them. I remember now. Except that we'll never be able to colonize that because it's volcanic. And that's a lot of research. For us to get to that. But we shall try. Actually, how is that going? <laughs> still, still haven't even finished researching colonization. Uh, yeah, that's great. That's gonna take a very long time. Oh, why are we hitting lag spikes here? Uh, what have we got? Marshy planet, that's good. Should we be able to colonize that soonish? Couple volcanic planets. With a ton of moons. Okay, a lot of moons. There's a lot of moons. Uh, another guy died. Wow. Lost an experienced ship captain. Oh well, these things happen. What have we got? Just barren rocks. Barren rocks. Yeah, nothing good here. Get him! Oh, you're dead. Yeah, you're totally dead. Oh, what a mistake. What a tragedy. You should not have gone one on one against that thing. Are you gonna go try and attack it now? Alright. We just throw ships at this guy until eventually something happens. Yeah, you're totally dead. You got way too close. Way too close to the fire. Slowly but surely. Oh, he's got more health. He's gotten stronger. Maybe attacking him one at a time is not the best strategy? I don't know. Just a suggestion. Just a thought and idea, maybe one at a time. Not the smartest way to fight this. Oh, did we, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, space slugs as well. Okay, that's great. We're gonna make some tactically sound decisions <laughs> in this empire. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go, that's how it's done. You gotta group up. And uh, hope that, you know, one of you doesn't get destroyed. Yeah, you're screwed. Oh, oh, you might kill him. No, he's screwed. Oh, one health. No, he's dead. And catch up to him. You guys can do it. Oh, you got him. Didn't even take damage. Oh, that's one thing down. Three to go. Where are you guys going? Alright, frigates. Take him down. Oh, you guys are screwed, actually. <laughs> He's at full health. Four health and you're going in one at a time. Brilliant tactical decision on our part. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, you got some shots off. 
And he's dead. Oh no, don't retreat. <laughs> don't retreat. You guys are actually in a good position. That turnaround is two of you versus one. You guys can get some good shots off before he kills one, or both of you. I see you got some good shots off. It's dead now, but he got some good shots off. Alright, are we still building some? Oh come on, we gotta we gotta build like 20 of these ships. Just to take that thing out. Oh, we have a fleet of 20, of 11 ships. Oh, come on, guys. What if these things are fighting each other? Do you think a giant space cow car will fight a space slug? This could be interesting. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, we're gonna send a ship in one at a time again. Fourth Strike Force consists of one ship. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, there you go. No, I don't think they're coming over here. No, those guys are not coming over there. Have we started building anything here? No, we haven't. It's unfortunate. Oh, oh god. Uh, construction ship. Oh, he's gonna go build something. That's nice. And... Not your next exploration ship. Hmm. Alright, the Kalkor. Has moved in and has uh, allied himself with the space slugs. Yeah, they're they're friendly. They are friends of each other. This is not a good sign. Where's that fleet? Second fleet. Uh, Eleven ships. See if you guys can take something out. And hopefully you're actually got warp drive. I hope, maybe. Yes, they do. Perfect. Oh, we even have a little one guy going in by himself. That's great. This could be the beginning of a slaughter. Me being slaughtered by space slugs and a giant Kalkor. Kaltor. That's the same thing. You guys can do it. Take him out. Kick his ass. At least five of them are going to be in close quarters. Uh, you guys are screwed. Those space rooms are gonna kick your guys' butts. Got more ships coming in, that's good news. And we got one. Oh no, I can't click on their fleet again. Second fleet, there we go. Started with 11 ships, now has 9. Took out both the space slugs. Alright, everybody go back to being automated. Well done. Our sector is now monster free. Or, our system is monster free.
And uh, I don't know, let's build some more construction ships. I feel like this is going a little bit slow. Construction ships. Uh, oh, and we have negative money. Uh, that's not good. Where is our money? Money, 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 money. Just look at the expansion. No, I can't. Uh, Empire summary. Yeah. Cash flow minus 2,000. Troop maintenance 10 grand. Ship and base maintenance 41,000. Hmm. Yeah, maybe building more ships is not the best strategy here. It's too late, we're stuck with them. Bonus income plus 28. What's that from? What's a bonus income coming from? I don't know. I don't know where that money comes from. Colonization really needs to get on it. Get it together. Can we build troop transports yet? Where is. Troop transports. Shipboarding? No. Tires interceptions. No, 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 no. I don't see troop transport. It's armored forces. Tanks. Here somewhere, right? Nope, not on there. Oh, transport systems. Gotcha. Hmm, okay. So we gotta wait a while for that. Ah. Uh, Maybe put the tech speed too low. Let's play scout ships. So this is all in range. Why don't you go and explore? It's in range. I don't know why we're not exploring stuff in our range. Hmm, that's done. 
Uh, let's take a look. Who else do we got? Any little scout ships in here? Uh, a lot of warships that we can't really afford. Uh, but I think that's... oh! Exploration? Exploration. There you go. Why don't you come and explore over here? Oh, they can't make it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, we learned something. Our ships don't make it very far. Side of the sector, aren't you? <coughs> and jump. I'm still traveling at warp, even though he has no fuel. That's uh, interesting. Secret warning offer offered. Hmm. Tell us more. Mechanoid, share important note warning. The Dark Ones at ancient times long to return. They seek a pathway back to dominate over all. Beware of unknown monuments and beacons that light the way. Be prepared for revenge of the destroyers. Tragic. Colonization takes so long. It's really uh, an awful thing. Let's focus on getting transport systems, I guess. And now uh, we just invade those lizard people. I mean, liberate the lizard people. The toad people. At least the toad people? Yes. Reptilian, volcanic, yeah. We're doing it for their benefit. We're gonna liberate them from themselves. For the monarchy, of course. I don't know what our max population is. Nope, a giant fleet just dispatched. So I do show you on there. What's our? Oh, we're kind of maxed out. We're 
Mr. 4x speed. We have 4x speed right now? Jeez. Well, we definitely have the fleet to go conquer them. And they only have one troop defending themselves. So that should be a blowout once we eventually. That's what we want. Once we eventually get this. And go and invade them. It's just a matter of time. Even though they're friendly, it's probably better just to conquer them. Bring them the monarchy. Pirates control two different colonies? Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know they could do that. I will say though, we should do some, uh, should treat them a little bit hostile. Does it just how many ships they have? Oh, they have 10 ships. 690 military power. Uh, it doesn't say what we have. Hmm. I mean, we definitely have more than 10 ships. The firepower part. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? That's, that's our score. This line here. This score is that little line right there. I think... I can't do anything with them. Okay. Policy screen. Just wondering, where do I go to do intelligence? So characters. Nope. And it's not Empire Summary. No. I didn't see anything in diplomacy. Trade of us are awful. Debris revealed. Our exploration of some secrets of the ancient guardians. Uh, it's in some unexplored area called the Courtesy Debris Field uh, and is nowhere near us. Like, nowhere near us whatsoever. We're never gonna make it there. Oh, we have a positive cash flow. Oh, nope, it's not negative again. We did have a positive cash flow for a second there. We got some mining stations there. Some mining stations in this sector. And our sector is looking pretty good. I mean, we got a lot of mining stations. Oh, is he uh, repairing this thing? No, he's not. What's his orders? He has no mission. There you go. Repair that thing. Since you're literally sitting next to it. Let's see what kind of research bonus we get. Uh, leadership uh, thingy. Ongoing bonus for repairing events, tech, and hostile. 
Okay, so you get 11% from scientist head station. 0% from the location. Alright, I'm not sure exactly how this is being factored in. Scientist at station. So if there's a station that has a scientist at it, we're getting 11% bonus. And that's about it. Well, the point is we're going to get a free ship. And uh, we're going to be able to take it apart and maybe get some free technology from it. And it is a destroyer. It's a big ship. We don't have any destroyers. Uh, don't tell me you ran out of material. I don't even know what it looks like when you run out of material. Only that we seem to be stuck. Oh, nope, 25. It's getting better. Twenty-four. Okay, this is taking a really long time. Is there another construction ship nearby? Oh, there is another construction ship nearby. Can you... Apparently you can't double repair? Okay. That's unfortunate. Apparently you can't have more than one ship repairing something. I guess we would just suffer. And wait for this thing to get finished. Slowly, but surely, someday I'll finish. You know it would be helpful. Oh god. You know it would be helpful. So if we built some more research facilities. I'm kind of surprised the game has not done that for us. And uh, oh. Apparently there's some more ruins. Another ruined fleet, the Wyoth debris field, which is also nowhere near us. Yeah, even further than the courtesy. <laughs> I love that name. Courtesy, really. It's the uh courtesy debris field. It's a great name. I think this planet is going to go a full orbit around the sun before we finish this. Which is very unpleasant. And I'm kind of surprised there are no tech bon- there's a tech bonus for energy research. Uh, which we don't need. What do we need? We need high tech and industrial research. Yeah, we need high tech bonuses. We need to find some high-tech bonus planets. Or, not necessarily a planet, but, you know, thing. Don't we have something here? Interesting. Is there filter by critical empire? And there isn't. It's just for resources, eh? Hmm. So the Empire expansion expander does not show us anything good there. Uh, we just kind of have to look the hard way, I guess. Which is very unfortunate. I don't really want to do that, but 
surely there is a high-tech research moon or something somewhere that we get a little bonus from and if not we would just build one for the sake of building one Uh, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. A little bit ridiculous. You know what? You have... Build another defensive station. It's not really... I really thought he was going to build it. Uh, and... Build at Moon a... High-tech research. That's why I wanted that other... <laughs> That other defensive station should have been there. Uh, that's okay. Build at moon. Uh, get him another high tech research. Oh, high tech research right here. Seriously. And you even have a construction ship here. Ah. God gives us a bonus right there. That's unfortunate. That's annoying. Alright, how's this thing going? Seven more. Yeah, this planet might orbit the entire star. <laughs> Alright, it's at six. It's going a little bit slow still, but a little bit faster at the same time, I guess. And our troop research is still a bit away. Hmm. It's getting there though. It's getting there eventually. Unlike the reparation of this poor damaged destroyer. One day you'll be repaired. Oh, which does remind me, did we ever... No, we never repaired these other ships. Pirates off in Discovery for 30,000. Pass. Alright, this thing might be finished soon. I, I did see a troop transport got researched, which is good news. Uh, what is he working on? Medical systems? Was that, um... Oh, I built it so that we can do the volcanic next. Okay, that's fair. Alright, it's almost done. We gotta be ready to pause so that we can send to, uh... Yes. It must be retired near the shipyard. Although it's apparently not yet done. What's going on here? Destroyer. Uh, retire it near shipyard. Do I have to not be paused for this to happen? There you go. Apparently you have to not be paused for that to happen. Uh, and you come repair this guy. That we totally did not forget was damaged and sitting in the middle of nowhere. I would never forget a damaged ship sitting in the middle of nowhere. What happened to that asteroid belt? Did it move? Oh, it does move. Interesting. And apparently this destroyer has no hyperspeed, so he's just going to go slowly work his way over there. Uh, and this guy is going to go get repaired. You can go back to automation. Just go automate yourself. Go automate yourself. 
And whatever happened to... We were going to build a high-tech thing there. Are you... You have no hyperdrive. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, you gotta go retrofit first. And while you're retrofitting... Oh, there's a pirate. Oh, there's an exploration pirate. Uh, while he's retrofitting... I need another construction ship. Which I apparently do not have. No, oh, you. You're gonna come build. This very lovely high tech research station. You. I can't believe you. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking for. Do I have some troop transports now? To see our fleets. Alright, no troop transports apparently. Uh, can we build troop transports? Here's a, here's a good question. I know we did some research, but did we do enough research? Destroyer, cruiser, capital ship, build troop transport. Size too big. We need this. Oh, we need this. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's fine. It's cool, 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 cool. cool. We just keep researching stuff. At the very least, we'll soon have uh, some better engines. Very quickly here, at 96%. And I, I do believe this is going a little bit faster now, uh, thanks to some of our research stations. That's good news. That's good news. But five for that. Where's all our research going? Right, we gotta figure out research a little bit better here. Let's say we got a crew systems. Increases chance of new scientists. Let's get the structural research. And this is just a maintenance saving thing. Colonization, get our enhanced sensors to continental, marshy. Not that we need continental, we start with that basically, because it's our species thing. Then you work on ocean, then you do vent storage and get desert combat, and then we go from there. Oh no, they're gonna hit each other! Watch out! Space physics! Yeah! They both lived. Space physics, y'all. Uh, 
Uh, are you building? Oh, you're building. That's good. Oh, you built T. It's even better. Hey, I wonder, can we build more than one? At the same planet? Oh my god, can we? Oh, maybe? I think we, I guess we can. Cured to build another space. Oh, wow. I didn't know you can build more than one at the same place. Uh, pirates are attacking our station. These jerks. Why aren't you guys uh, defending it? Where's my fleet? First fleet. And they just ran away. That's great. Oh, and I lost the captain because of this. <laughs> no hyperdrive, he's stuck here. That's great. Let's uh, destroy him at some point. Oh, he's going to take out another one of our stations. Alright, hold on. Where's my fleet? What is this fleet doing? Second fleet. They are trying to retrofit. Okay, cancel your retrofit and come and destroy these guys. Oh, they already destroyed it. Well, we are too slow. Yeah, get over here anyways. More of the ships are arriving. We need to uh, really get over here, guys. Oh, we destroyed one of them. Yeah! All kinds of fleet battle going on here now. Teach them to mess with my machines. Alright, go back to automation. And uh, somebody's going to have to come repair that. Construction ship. No mission, eh? Come repair this thing. That is your new mission. Oh, they tried to come and raid us. We did some damage though, we fought them back a little bit. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Oh, I guess you can't build more than one. Well, we tried. Uh, you know what? Build here. Oh, you can't build uh, defense stations. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you just have to sit at uh, automation. And maybe the game will give you something to do. I don't know. Oh, two construction ships came here. Oh, because there's one that came automatically. And you got there first. Alright, that's that's fair. And you can't build a weapons thing on a neutral planet, that's fair as well. And now uh, already rebuilding the mining stations. Excellent. Very excellent. So we're not researching much uh, in the ways of the military, but uh, everything else is doing good. Yeah, this is doing very good. I need you to also be doing good though. Um, oh, not much we can do about this. 
Oh, what's this? Why are you blinking? Hmm, there must be something there. What uh, species is he? Oh, he's got two species now. Controls two colonies. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to destroy him. Teach him to be so controlling and better than us. I guess he tried coming to take them as well, and we had enough stuff to stop him. Uh, improved assault technology. Oh, tactics. Uh, was something that we just got. Oh, we got the whole technology for it. Nice. That is great news. Uh, we got that from that destroyer that we uh, captured and... Or, not captured, we fixed it up. Structural research, let's break through new planetary facility, the Science Academy. Yes, we do need a Science Academy. And so we shall build one. Uh, why is it not building? I guess maybe it's, yeah, I guess it's building it. Oh, there it is. Facilities. 89%. Oh, it's complete. That was fast. And our Science Academy. Uh, really? You're going to make me search for it in this thing? Okay. Science Academy, Science Academy, Science Academy. Increase the new ch uh, chance of new scientists appearing in the Empire. And that's it. That's all it does. Just increases the chance of having new scientists. Which is still a good thing, because we do need more scientists. We always need more scientists. Especially when we only have one right now. Uh, and he, he only increases... Decreases chance of critical research success or failure. Hmm. And energy research plus 18%. It's not that great. Uh, what is great though is nothing else actually. We still gotta research this. And colonization is gonna take its sweet time. another defense platform? No. I think we upgraded it. We upgraded the defense platforms and now they have fighters. Or we upgraded two of them, apparently. Others are still being retrofitted. I didn't know we even finished fighter research. Oh, we did. That is fantastic. Fighter research is so uh, excellent to have in this game. Uh, your fighters basically launch and go after the enemy rather than waiting for the enemy to get within weapons range. So uh, they're they're pretty neat to have. 
Even our spaceport itself has fighters, which is great. Oh, our ship got attacked. Oh, right, we searched uh, new engines. Oh, so what do we got? Oh, orange people. Oh, no, more lizard people. That is awful. Uh, and what is going on here? This is all under my influence, apparently. Don't know how or why. But it is. That's good news. Uh, Ancient Guardians over here. Apparently under his influence. Wow. Our exploration ships are just everywhere. And uh, yeah, we gotta go take out these lizard people, apparently. There's even another neutral planet here. Full of lizards as well. Wow. So many lizard people around us. Uh, but they're friendly lizard people, I do believe. I mean, we're gonna still take them all out, but yeah, they're supposed to be friendly. Get him! Wow, our frigate's actually pretty strong. That guy took a few mean hits. Oh, they have shields! Yes, we have shield technology. That is fantastic. Um, what are you doing here? Come on, Agent Guardians, you're not supposed to be doing anything. Oh, they fought against the colony. The enemy colony ship. That's great news. Those pirate bastards. And uh, actually, there is the capital of the lizard people. Uh, Shadar system, they are the Shadarians. For some reason, uh, this empire is not actually part of them. But that's okay, we're taking it though. Either way. And those lizards are supposed to be... Oh, they're annoyed by us. Our ignorance of your strange alien race causes us to distrust you. But they also respect us. <laughs> That's zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are definitely going to take these guys out sooner rather than later. Military strength 740. So they're about as militarily strong as these guys were. Uh, not anymore. Now they only have three ships, but... All right, well, makes sense. We gotta catch them all. And unfortunately, we started next to the Ancient Guardians, which I don't really like. I mean, the Ancient Guardians are nice people and all, but come on. Do you really want to start near them? Probably not. We're gonna have a lot of lizard people colonies by the time this is all said and done. Although he's got a ton of armies. Scenery plus 28 from rings. Fire rings of Erd. Tras? Okay. Ice moon, broken, frozen, tundra. What else is here? Barren, frozen. Did he start with a nicer sector? No, I think we got the nicer sector than he did. Uh, and we met. Uh, those people now. They're kind of in the middle of nowhere. That's unfortunate for them. Very fortunate for us. Uh, in the high tomb of Secure, we have made. Curious to discovery, an ancient. Oh, okay, I gotta look forward to read this thing. Uh, cautious discovery, a data cone found in the ruins containing a message that reveals history, uh, details from the galaxy, distance past. This is kind of hard to read with the stars in the background. Uh, but basically, it's all about the Shakura axis. So if you want to read this, pause now. And forever holds your peace. Bye bye. All right. 
uh, but these guys are not very strong right now. They just have a medium spaceport. I know there's lots of independents. Medium spaceport, and that is... What is this thing? What is this giant ship thing? That's not their port. Is it their port? I guess it's their port. I thought maybe it was the medium frigate, but... Oh no, it is the medium... Is it the medium frigate? I can't tell. Oh, I guess that's what their spaceport looks like. It's that weird looking thing. It's a weird looking uh, spaceport. Why are people dying? Oh, pirates. That pirate ship has a lot of shields on it. And uh, yeah, we are definitely taking a beating here. We need our other ships to get in here. Maybe we can start hitting the shields any second now. Get through the shields, come on. Stop firing. Oh, he escaped. No way. Oh, that is garbage. Well, now we know the pirates have a giant ship. It's capable of just wiping out our fleet. Still can't colonize anything and still can't build bigger ships. And we keep encountering these miners. Never fear, we shall conquer them all. Sooner rather than later. MGX, how's it going my friend? It is uh, late for you, I believe. It's midnight where you are. And the secure, and we. Oh, how many ships does. Or. You have intel on this guy. Nope, we lost the intel. As I zoomed in, I should have paused. Should have paused where our scout ship was there. Now you're hopping into bed as you speak. Wow. My voice will be the last thing you hear tonight. <laughs> Team games? Oh. If you had a good night, that means you won a lot. Hopefully. Hopefully you won a lot. Uh, enhanced shipyards. So close, yet so far. Needing, needing the sweet dreams or nightmares. I mean, it's up to you. Ah, uh, one and one. That's not that bad. As long as you break even, it's a good night. Oh, we got our bigger ships already? Oh, we just had destroyers. Oh, and troop transports. Oh, we can start invading people. Uh, this is unfortunate that I did not realize this sooner. Where is my military fleet? 47,000 troops. Perfect. And they're currently retrofitting. We don't need them to retrofit. I need you guys to come and invade this place. More independent colonies found. That's fantastic. Let us invade. Is that a troop transport? No, it's a construction ship. What's he doing there? Uh, where's our troop transport? Troop transport, go! Why is this entire fleet so silly? I want you guys to attack. Go! 
Go, go, gadget troops. Oh, I don't think we have enough troops. Or oh, did we have enough troops? I mean, they only had one. Yes, we did have enough troops. Fantastic. All right, go back to automation. And that's excellent news. We now have our first, uh, well, we kind of conquered them, but it still counts as being our first colony. I would try to get some fortifications around it quickly before those pirates try to show up and take it from us. And all the civilian ships are coming in to bring us stuff. Uh, this round... It's been okay. Uh, we didn't start off in the greatest place. We had a neutral next to us. Uh, no good planets in our system. Our system is basically just a giant whale of gas giants. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gas giants in our home system. Oh, eight gas giants in our home system. Uh, which is very unusual. And then to top it off, we kind of started in a weird place. It's like the second smallest star cluster around. Uh, and apparently there's another empire in it. And there's the, um, the ancient guardians in it as well. So I don't know. It's been, it's been okay. Been an okay round. Not the greatest, uh, but not the worst that I've seen. Uh, the game itself is like eight years old. It's uh, it's pretty old. Not as old as uh, Age of Empires, but still pretty old. Uh, they just actually recently announced the second version of it coming out. Uh, they announced it last week, so probably another year or two away before they actually release it. It's kind of why I got back into it. Free trade agreement. Uh. I kind of want to conquer her, not trade with them. No agreement. You were confused. Oh, no, the, the new one's going to be coming. Oh, wait, was she just giving me a gift? I just declined a gift. Like fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, well that was silly of me. Um, yeah, it's not a new game. It's um, the new one's not going to come out probably for like another year. Well, they just announced it last week, so I think that I've actually seen a few other people streaming this game when they got announced. There we go. I'll take the money. Territory map, sure. We swap territory maps. You never know what comes from that. She's got uh, no territory map. That's great. Where is this person? Oh, right next to them. Wow. Right next door. Interesting. And... Oh, we got some defenses up. It's not yet built, but we got some defenses up. Uh, and, oh, I had diplomacy set to automated, and it's offering them stuff. Awful. And there's a third one. A third one of their empires, somewhere over here. Probably nearby it as well. Uh, this is actually a somewhat interesting game in the sense that everything is automated. Like you can basically pick and choose what you want to micromanage. Uh, so there's a whole set of policies and everything. 
So if you don't want to deal with diplomacy, you can just set the AI to do it. Uh, if you don't want to deal with intelligence, the AI can do it. You don't want to deal with colonization. Just everything uh, can be automated fully or completely. Yeah, that was kind of the when I originally started playing this when I was younger. Um, that was one of the things that really drew me to it. Is it's a massive game that you can make. I mean, right now I play it as clusters, but you can make it. It can look just like Stellaris, basically, with just massive automation everywhere. And somewhat, I don't know if I would say better than Stellaris, but uh, pretty good everything in it. Uh, let's see if we can take over another neutral. We really need to expand rapidly. And 121,000 troops. Yeah. Fleet's not doing anything. Great. Get over here. And there they are. They're way over there. And who's this? Oh, these guys. These guys are nice. I want to avoid those guys. Alright, what have we got? They've got pretty much no troops. We should be easily be able to conquer this planet. Ah, uh, yeah, that's an easy victory. Go back to automation. Get more troops. Prepare for the next attack. And uh, there we go, we got the moon. We're just starting after like three hours to expand our empire and take stuff over. <laughs> I'm playing on like the, the most expensive technology that you can get. So it really is taking a very long time to do stuff. Is there another one of those guys? Oh, it's the same one. Why are you getting the same map research again? Silly AI. nuclear fission. Hey, there you go. Getting some new technology going. Alright, have a, a very good night, MGX, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And let's keep getting... We want to get more of. We should probably get better shields. Uh, yeah, let's get better shields. And engines as well, because our ships are pretty slow. Engines and shields. And my fleet still only has four infantry. We got two more neutral planets we need to invade. Or oh, is there another one here? Uh, it's like, um, just looks kind of weird. Yeah, it just looks like a weird system. Oh, it says there's a neutral there. It's giving me the communication symbol, like there's a neutral on this sector somewhere, but I don't see anybody else in the sector. It's definitely not you guys. It's definitely not you.
Maybe it's just not properly explored or something? Destiny. After going, uh, as a result of the experiences, our captain is getting a bounty hunter. Well done, good sir. Hmm. Oh, second fleet. You now have more infantry. Excellent. Come conquer this planet. Yeah, it's a good planet to conquer. That's the original home world of these lizard people. Exploration ship, that's unfortunate. And a construction ship going in. Wanting to stop attacks. Oh, uh, probably because we're randomly attacking him when he's in my sectors. That explains it. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Randomly attacking him. And we got a new planet as well. Let's uh, just quickly get a medium station, a couple defensive stations up. And uh, where did that fleet go? We need to have a conversation with the second fleet. Uh, namely that they need to be automated again. And uh, oh yeah, they're, they're trying to strike back. Uh, but unfortunately for them, we had a fleet here and our uh, port had just finished being built already. So that's unfortunate for them. A colony ship failed to colonize. I didn't realize I had any colony ships right now. Uh, oh, are they attacking us here? Yeah, it looks like they are attacking us here now. Uh, but again, we have enough ships to counter them. They tried landing troops there. Ooh. Yeah, that did not work out well for them. And uh, now our strike fleets are going to go destroy their mining stations that they did have in this sector. Uh, and we are still... this is uh, quickly de-escalating. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a war very quickly against these guys. I think our, our next... Oh dear. There's their fleet. Uh, we quickly need to start getting more stuff built up. And we are having trouble colonizing stuff. I have to slow this down so we can actually see some of these messages. And now uh, they're trying to take out the port here. We gotta pause this. We gotta get a fleet here. Otherwise, he is gonna destroy that thing. Unfortunately, our fleet is going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we need you guys to come over here. And uh, hopefully that fleet can arrive quickly, but uh, I don't think it is. It's going to take a while for them to turn around and go back to warp. That is bad. Although our station did uh, 
hold out quite a bit. They put up quite a bit of a fight. Where is that fleet? Oh, what are they doing? Are you guys kidding me? They stopped going there. Oh, they stopped because we destroyed one of their ships that we were targeting. Oh, that is not good. This station is a burning wreck right now. And it's gone. Uh, and I'm betting that fleet is no longer coming again. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Get over here. Just get to the planet. Do something. Something to save us. Well, the rest of our sectors are all secure, at least. Uh, it's just this one that's gotta be... That is hurting. And our fleet is here. Finally it's arrived. To hopefully do some uh, damage to the enemy. And uh, we're not even going to wait around, we're going to start building up those defenses again. And uh, sure enough, he had some troop transports here, but he didn't land any troops. Which I guess is a blessing, but also we would have defended those troops. We would have defeated them. We've got a lot of stuff on the ground already. Alright, the second fleet currently has uh, no troops in it right now. So again, I'm going to go into automation again. Hopefully, they won't attack us here anytime soon. Uh, but I kind of doubt it. I'm sure they're going to attack us pretty quickly. Start working on enhanced shields, we need the torpedoes. We still gotta get some colonization going. It's more colony stuff action. And we definitely wanna come take this neutral planet as well. Uh, sooner rather than later. It's a shame. Yeah, we, we're still not at war with him, but minus 142 relations. Oh, we are at war. I didn't even know if somebody clear warned me. Well, I guess it makes sense. It was coming eventually. And uh, somehow we actually have that other race has come and joined our empire somewhere. I don't know where. Population human. Uh, population here. Oh, that's where they joined. Almost a hundred million of the uh, Securan have come and joined us on one of our planets. Another 12 million there. It's kind of surprising. None there, though. What, uh, have any of our humans gone to them? I don't think so. Nope, no humans have gone to their planets. 
I know that's a little, little silly one ship. One lonely little ship just went and tried to attack them. And again, we still have no troops in our troop transports. That is a, a serious breach. Makes it very difficult for me. Oh, we got a new captain. And it's one of their race as well. That makes it very difficult for me to conquer the enemy. Alright, what exactly... What exactly are you guys doing right now? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. It says you're attacking something. Oh, now you have no mission. Alright, I got an idea. I need you to come over here. Oh, he's taken that planet. Dang. Uh, why do we have no troops? <clears throat> this is something that's, uh, Starting to bother me. We have no troops. You're building troop transport. Build some more. And build a bunch of destroyers. And, uh, yeah, this is. Should cause some damage here to them. Hurt their economy a little bit. gonna raid them throughout this entire sector. Uh, these guys, the guardians are here for some reason. But that doesn't matter too much. As long as we destroy a bunch of their stuff, that's all that really matters. Some troops, perfect. I need you guys to drop your troops off here. Hopefully, you can make a quick grab of that. And we see our uh, station is now built here, right? Yeah, fully operational, it's getting shields. So we should be uh, fully defended here. If he decides to attack there again, which I kind of doubt it, because uh, he's probably going to try to take this back. Rather than try to raid us way down here at his ancient homeworld. His ancestral homeworld. I think he'd sooner come and try to take this back. Which we're not gonna let him, of course. And again, we are damaging his civilian fleet quite a bit. We got some troops down. Looks like we're gonna win this as well. Got 68,000 troops there. And uh, oh dear, there's their big fleet. Their fleet's gonna come and try to retake this, but I think it's it's not gonna happen for them. A 
Well, Thede's definitely got some superiority to this. Or maybe not. No, we're forcing them to retreat. We're doing some damage. They got some destroyers, but we definitely did some damage to them. I don't know what just happened there with these guys, but yeah. What have we got? We still have the second fleet here. But it looks like our ninth fleet. Uh, set it back to automation. Let them try to repair themselves. Alright, and this fleet will stick around. Watch out for any raiders, like this little guy. And hopefully we can get our spaceport here built quickly. A lot of resource shortage is, which is going to cause a problem. Uh, and oh dear, I didn't know there was a colony going up there. Uh, can't even afford a defensive station or anything here, really. I don't know what do we got over here. Let's uh, scrap this. I think we should scrap this. We don't need an extra defensive station there at this point. And the uh, this is a special thing that's just been discovered, uh, and apparently it's in the middle of nowhere. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Get a defensive base. Get at least one defensive base there, that would be somewhat good. A new colony governor. Oh, colony governor. Okay, that's fine. And uh, we are still have that resource shortage here, uh, but some stuff is being built. Which counts for something. Even though that second fleet is hurting, we still gotta keep it around. Although it looks like the strike force is there as well, just to help out. So that's good. I kinda have to keep an eye on this plane. Cause uh, yeah, we definitely need that defensive station up. And it's not gonna go up anytime soon. It's got a lot of shortages. Improving ground assault? We don't care about that. Get better rail guns. That's what we really want. It's more weapons. <laughs> more and better weapons. That's what we really, we really want to focus on. Uh, you get enhanced shields still. Once you're done, get us uh, better energy. Is always good. And you're still working on continental upgrading. Great. Just great. And uh, yeah, that's going to take a little while. That's definitely in danger of uh, just existing. I'm a little annoyed that we the AI built a colony right there. That's not a great spot. Not a great spot at all at this point. Middle of a war, right next to the uh, enemy border, enemy capital. <laughs> it's one thing to take one of their colonies, it's another to start a brand new one next door to them. And that's still some enemy colony, some enemy uh, freighters are still trying to come in here. 
Not sure why they are, but uh, they are. And hopefully the game... We never go to war with these guys by accident. See, we can't accidentally make peace with this or do anything with this guy. Uh, or we can't accidentally do anything good with that guy. Alright, let's pause this. Uh, that's a scout ship, right? No, it's a colony ship. Why would you try to colonize in their home sector right now? <laughs> in the middle of a war. Uh, not a smart idea. The colony ship's gonna get destroyed easily. Uh, but more importantly, I just wanted to see what he has, and he's got a couple defensive stations. Uh, and of course his home station. But it looks like they don't have any fighters yet. Which I guess is somewhat good. He's got some good shields. 3,500, do I have that many shields in my stations? Uh, no, we don't. So he's got better shields than us. Uh, is that his species? No, it's a different species. What is it? Yeah, I think that's a different species for that. Oh, that's not even shields. These are shields. Um, hmm. He must have these already. Okay, we're just getting them now, so... I would say we are not yet ready to conquer him. In his home sector. And of course our colony ship cannot complete its task because you just dropped in the enemy home sector like a fool. Ah. Uh, Okay, there's gotta be a policy. If you're not colonizing stuff that uh, in the middle of enemy territory, maybe not. Immediately build a defensive station. Which you apparently cannot do for some stupid reason. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, no, nope, apparently you can't stop that from happening. Unless you just turn off automated colonization, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know what's in any of these sectors down here. Probably nothing because they all look very empty. Poor tactician. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Alright, 39. Oh! And those are the pirate mining stations there. Oh no, those are not the pirate, it's that other lady. The neutral person. Alright, so this planet's slowly still building its defensive station, but it otherwise looks fine. You, are you up yet? Still not done. Still no energy, still no shields. Got lots of fighters though. I don't really, I want my second fleet to be able to go and, you know, fix themselves up a little bit. But I can't, uh... Map of the free shot. That's great. Thanks for getting me a map of the one territory that they have left. Uh, awful. Money? I take money. I like free money. Alright, uh, we just colonized something. With these guys, apparently. Two things unbuilt. Hey, where's that 15th fleet going? 
Alright, well, apparently you guys suck. Go back to automation. Because, uh, you're apparently hopeless and can't do anything at this point. But that's okay, because this is now being built. Shields are going up. We've already got some ships coming around there, so that's great. We are ready in case the enemy decides to attack there. We'll be able to destroy them and then counterattack, hopefully. And our new shields are ready, which is also great. Uh, but again, we're still not at 3,000 for shields, are we? I actually have to go there and click on it, don't I? Uh, awful. What are you at? You're at 4,200 shields for some reason. Okay. Oh, because those are medium stations. And that's a large station, and his station is probably large as well. That explains a few things, actually. So he has 3,000 shields, but they're probably still level 1 shields. It's just that he has a large station, and I was looking at my medium stations that had less. But that also means he has a large station. And those things are built pretty well. This early on in the game, I don't know if I can actually take him out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how much, uh, what it's going to take for us to take him out, actually. Right, two components. I'm also curious about what he has over here that's giving him control over it. When I have all this stuff, I shouldn't have control of that sector, right? It's gotta have something there. Control that cloud. Destroy whatever he has there. choice in the me. We want to expand some of these people. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Yep, lots of volcano planets for them to expand on. Oh, that's ready them. Hold on. This is the wrong... Expansion planner. Alright, lots of volcanic planets for them to expand on. And uh, not a lot of continental stuff for us to get to. Or that we could get to. Yeah, that's the one in his home sector. Hmm. Alright, what does he have over here? He apparently has nothing over here. Don't know why he has control over it. He apparently has nothing there. Continental colonization, perfect. We can now colonize that thing that we already have access to.
And now uh, he sent his exploration ship down here. It's an interesting choice. It's checking out what we have. And he wants to cease fire. Subjugated Dominion. Hmm. Anyone agree to that? Okay. We will Kung Fu fight then. Until one of us is dead. I really wish this defensive station would build faster though. <laughs> now we got another colony up and running, that's great news. Uh, apparently they are rebelling against us immediately. Wow, we colonized and immediately they rebelled. Uh, that is awful. Uh, but luckily we have enough troops, we can just go take it back. How dare these fools rebel against us within seconds of colonizing them. They were in the war in exchange for- are you kidding me? <laughs> They're in the war in exchange for me giving up stuff for them? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna come over here and conquer the planet that I just colonized and immediately rebelled against me for some stupid reason. We're coming- we're take it back. Yeah, you guys don't need to drop the rest of those troops off. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Just completely overwhelmed them. And the colony's back under my control. And, um... Uh, it's got civilian ships there, okay. Oh, our two fleets are going after his capital. Are they stopping? Yeah, they stopped for some reason, I don't know why. I guess they stopped waiting for the 15th fleet to show up. Which is fair. Except that fleet no longer has any troops to do anything with. This is going to be a disaster. And uh, that fleet's immediately stopped, and you have immediately decided to retreat. That went fast. <laughs> Treaty accepted. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This stupid AI. God damn it. Unbelievable. Got us into a war and then got us out of the war. Okay, apparently we can't turn off the trade or the uh, peace treaty stuff. Well, that's garbage. At least we got back our planet. That is really annoying though that uh, we made it straight into here and then peace. We gained nothing. We didn't even get it back.
It is a large space for it. Okay. So now he's gonna have time to rebuild all his stuff. Although he can't come into my territory. Which is great. Barrel guns. Yeah, we got a lot more to research. people at max population. We're still not at max population. Huh. Well, that was an anticlimactic way to end that war. But unfortunately, that's what the game decided to do. And I think our next piece of research needs to be uh, enhanced hyperdrives. Yeah, we definitely want to get the new hyperdrives going. So we can jump farther. Where that guy is. He's got a uh, mining station there. That pirate. Construction of the moon. Where's this construction? Why are you constructing the moon there? And you could be building a new colony. Hmm. Oh yeah, diplomacy. Uh, this guy. Wow, everyone is furious against me? Oh no. They like me. They're friendly. Uh, these two are pleased with me. That's good news. He's friendly-ish. This guy's cautious. We did just fight a war. Guardians and this guy. This guy's really strong. 
You are not so strong. I kind of want to know. Hmm. I want to know where his one colony is. So that we can evade it. Wow, we haven't even explored down here. Um, explored here. We explored down here. A little bit, somewhat. So we got desert colonization. No, um, it's gonna be a while. Hmm. Oh, they've expanded out. That's nice of them. Good for them. Oh, you're part of the those pirates. Interesting. All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to end today's stream. Uh, next time, I don't know if we'll continue with this or not. Uh, we might start a new game and maybe do a, a different type of star map that's not clustered like this. Uh, just because the, the clusters are really killing me right now. <laughs> it's really it's really hurting having these clusters like this. Uh, so we'll kind of see where things go. And what we do. Can we now get a colony ship over here now that we have a mining station? I mean, that would make sense. If you're going to build a mining station out in the middle of nowhere. Also, I really didn't like that I stuck next to this. To the blob. The, the ancient goonie. Uh, we do not... We don't really need to be next to him. So close to him. With our territories. He's mixing. He's building stuff in them. Which I do not appreciate. Oops, sorry, this is trying to find. There we go. See, he's got stuff built in our, our territory, which I don't much appreciate. Where do we just colonize something else? Oh, we colonized another part of our home sector with more of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's happening. Oh, it's ocean planets down here. That's nice. Mechanic. Oh, mechanic. It has this guy again on it already. The Ancient Guardians. Oh anyway, yeah, that's where we're going to finish this. I'd like to uh, thank everyone who's been watching. Uh, all the supporters and everything. Uh, if you like these kind of streams, let me know. In the uh, comments if you're watching on YouTube. Also leave a follow, like, and subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, all that fun stuff. Leave lots of comments, all your love, all the hate, whichever you prefer. <laughs> and uh, enjoy the rest of your nights. Thank you and good night.